Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is from Asus, Asus ROG G503Q laptop. Okay, so today in this video, what are you gonna do? We're gonna reinstall Windows in UEFI format. It could be Windows 10 or 11 because this is fully compatible. But still, I'm very happy with Windows 10, so I'm gonna install it. The procedure for Windows 10 and 11 installation are same. So feel free to install whatever you would like, okay? So first of all, we need to get into the BIOS, change the boot option, and then we're gonna boot it up from the USB. This is quite a standard procedure, okay? So first of all, what you have to do, you should have one of them. As you can see, this is Windows 10 UEFI bootable one. I made it uh, created by Rufus. If you would like to know how to create one of them, you can check the video link would be in the description. Okay, so first of all, you need to connect it to the any USB port. Connect it. And press and hold the power button to switch it off. All right. So as I said, the main job to get into BIOS, what you have to do, you need to press and hold the F2 button. At the same time, make sure you leave the charger connected. This is very important. Okay, so I'm gonna press and hold F2 and press the power button, but still I'm gonna keep holding F2. All right. That is the main screen. And now let me talk in details about this virus. There are two ways that you can see the interface of Asus ROG laptop. If desktop or laptop does not matter, all of them does have the same. The view that you have right now, that is called EZ mode. You're gonna see on the top left hand side and there is another traditional look, which is called advanced mode. As you can see on right bottom, it says advanced mode, press F7, okay? So if you press F7, we're gonna see this ordinary traditional BIOS screen. Now, what's the difference in between two? Let me tell you. So from F7, if you press again, it goes to EZ mode. You can see right here all the details about the system and some software and hardware. So example, the BIOS version, as you can see, then LCD size, temperature, fan speed, battery, everything. And on the right hand side, as you can see, those are the boot priority option. So technically from here, you can customize it. So as you can see, there are two available boot priority. One of them is my USB. Another one, the Windows Boot Manager, I mean the existing Windows, which one it had already in the SSD. So if you would like to change quickly, what you can do, you can just right click on it and drag it, okay? With the cursor, you can go up and down. So example, the bottom one is my UEFI USB. So if I take the top one down, the bottom one would become at the top of the list what you can see. But there are also another few mandatory settings you must need to change due to enable the UEFI boot. So what you have to do, you can't do it right here because this is EZ mode. You need to press F7 and get into the ordinary traditional boot menu and BIOS options. Okay, so from the main center, we can see there is nothing to do. Then if you press the right arrow from the keyboard, you can get into advanced. From here, we're gonna change one settings, which is called USB configuration. Let's go down by pressing down arrow key and hit enter when you get there. And you must have to make it enable. Okay. Now, there are a couple of things you must need to understand. The legacy always is opposite of UEFI. So if the legacy on, that's mean UEFI switched off. And if the legacy is disabled, that means UEFI switched on. So what are you gonna do here? We're gonna click here and change into either auto or disable, okay? So let's do 
disable it anyway. And USB mouse storage driver support has to be enabled, remember. So the legacy disable and that one enable. Once it's done, then go back to the boot menu, which is that one. You can click here or you can press ESC button to go to the main menu, but don't do that. Okay, so from here, we're not gonna get into boot right now. We're gonna get into security because the secure boot option is available right in there. So let's click here. And from now on, I can see the bottom of the list is called secure boot. Either you can use your trackpad to select it, or you can just go down by the arrow key and hit enter to get in there. Once you get in there, as you can see, the secure boot control is enabled. The reason when we made the legacy disable, the secure boot comes enabled by itself. If it doesn't, manually also you can change it. So I'm going to click on enable and it's going to be enabled. That's the pretty much settings that you need to change due to enable the UEFI USB boot. Now, what are you going to do? The good option is I love it. That's the reason I like Asus. On the right hand side, you can see all the hotkey functions. So it says whatever we done to save it, if you press F F10, it's going to be saved. So either I can click like that or I can press. It doesn't work in that way. No problem. We can press F10 right here. Once you do that, it's going to be saved. Okay. Now let's check if it does turn on from the USB. Okay. And before we do that, there is one more things we need to do. Which one I forgot. The last option would be the boot section. Once you get into the boot section, you need to make boot option one, which is UEFI my USB one. And the second option, keep it as a Windows boot manager. Once this is done, we can save by F10, as I said. Press the F10, it says, would you like to save? Yes. Once you do that, the system gonna restart and hopefully that will start up right from my bootable USB. Even this is a latest machine, but because of my USB is quite slow, I bought it from Amazon, so cheap and very slow, so it takes time. So if you see black dark screen, just take it easy because that is quite normal. It's gonna take a few minutes to see the actual window setup screen and then everything would be fine. That's what I believe. There we go. Now we can see the Windows logo and we can see the Windows setup page. So let's do rest of the things. Okay. From here now I'm gonna select it, say next, United Kingdom is right for me, you choose your one. Click OK, go to install now. Accept the terms and condition. Hit next. If you would like to do the clean installation, just do the custom one, which is the bottom. And now from here, we can delete everything, as you can see. Okay, if we delete, we're gonna lose every single thing from right here, but take it easy, this is quite normal. So let's delete it. So if you have any sort of information which is very important for you, I would suggest you please back this up before you get into this option. Now, as you can see, there are one drive only, which is one to be third gen SSD and VME one. I'm gonna keep on the one partition. I don't wanna make any more partition in here. So now once you hit on next, it's gonna start up right from here and Windows installation will be done. So we're gonna run this video until the end just to see if this is successful or not.
All right, so everything is ready except the Wi-Fi driver. We had an issue with it anyway, but we're gonna reinstall it. That's pretty simple. By the way, Windows 10 has installed without any issue from EFI. Yes, me. I'm right there. Still, if you do have any question regarding this model or any other model, please let me know in the comment section. And if you do love, please don't forget to subscribe. I receive a lot of thanks and while they let me know the thanks, they forgot to subscribe to this channel. Anyway, that's personal. Thank you so much. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.